नमस्कार इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लूपिंग स्टेटमेंट्स इन पी एल एस क्वेर देर आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ लूपिंग स्टेटमेंट और आइट्रेटिव कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट इन पी एल एस क्वेर दीज आर सिंपल लूप स्टेटमेंट वाइल लूप स्टेटमेंट एंड फॉर लूप स्टेटमेंट इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिंपल लूप स्टेटमेंट द सिंटेक्स ऑफ सिंपल लूप स्टेटमेंट इज लूप सीक्वेंस ऑफ स्टेटमेंट terminated with end loop there is a space between end and loop and it is terminated with semicolon so the syntax is loop group of statements and terminated with end space loop it is interesting to note that in simple loop statement there is no exit statement it mean this is a infinite loop and we need to introduce exit statement to exit out of it otherwise it will continue run for infinite in order to introduce exit statement we have two kind of exit statement in pl sql one is simple exit and another is exit when let us understand the usage of both by considering some example in this example we have a simple loop which start with loop and terminated with end loop here we have a group of statements in order to exit from this simple loop we have introduced a exit statement in if condition and you can see that if c is greater than 5 then exit from this loop it mean that we will exit from this loop when the value of this counter is greater than 5 when this exit statement is executed it will exit from the loop and the control resume from the next statement after the end loop the other alternative for this is exit when the exit when statement allow a loop to complete conditionally when the exit statement is encountered the condition in the when class is evaluated if the condition is true the loop completes and control passes to the next statement after the loop it mean that exit when statement includes a condition in itself and there is no need to use this under if block let us understand this with some example here we have a simple loop we start with loop and terminated with end loop between this we have a group of statement and this also include a exit when statement which indicates exit when c greater than 5 it mean that when counter value is more than 5 we will exit from this loop and control is resumed from the next statement after this end loop so you can check that there is no need to include this exit when under if because condition is already included in exit when statement so here we have a comparison between exit and exit when so exit statement should be used within if block so if c greater than 5 then exit and if other alternative is directly use exit when c greater than 5 you can clearly see that exit when statement is simple to use and it also reduces the size of code so normally we use exit when statement to exit from simple loop let us write a code for pl sql block to print numbers from 1 to n we may take the value of n from the user or we can fix it so let us write the code we have a declare section where we declare a variable number to print the value like 1 2 3 so on so var1 is a number type variable which is initialized to a value 1 we have introduced a terminating number n and we are taking the value from the user with the use of substitutional variable it is important to note that this substitutional variable is not allowed in oracle live and we have to directly assign the value to this terminating variable n in begin we will use a simple loop so we will start with loop then in dbms output put line we are displaying the value of variable 1 then this variable will be incremented by variable 1 assignment operator is equal to var1 plus 1 variable will be incremented to 2 after this we will check its value and compare it with the terminating condition so exit when var1 is greater than n we will exit from this loop when the value of the variable is more than n 
and then we will complete the loop with end loop statement. So this group of statement will be performed continuously until the value of this variable is more than n. We have to complete our PLSQL block with end statement. Now let us move to Oracle Live to execute this code and check its output. Let's execute this code by pressing this button run. So you can see that system return an error message because substitutional variable is not allowed in Oracle Live. So we are directly assigning a value 10 to this our terminating variable n. Let's execute this code again. So you can see that statement processed and the output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 10. So we are able to achieve our objective by using simple loop. Uh, here we use exit when statement to exit from the loop. So by using this simple loop statement you can write multiple programs. So this is all about simple loop statement. To read more on this you can refer my book Simplified Approach to DBMS which is available at Amazon. You are requested to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive video tutorials on data mining, machine learning, DBMS, big data, NoSQL and many more. You can join this free online course on SQL at Udemy platform to learn SQL. I also authored books on data mining and data warehousing, NoSQL in a day, beginning with SQL and PLSQL for beginners. All these books are available at Amazon platform. To read more on this, you can refer my website prateekbhatia.com. Thanks for watching this video.